that. Hey, hello everyone. This is Ashwam. Uh, this video is not about a normal tech video. This video is about the news which is creating sensation in the tech industry. Yes, of course, uh, you might have heard about quantum supremacy in these days, right? So if you heard about it, uh, this video will give you some lot information about what actually quantum supremacy is. And if you uh, if you didn't heard about this, so this video might be helpful for you. Uh, like this video is not a single video; it is a part of uh, three. It is one of the part of three videos. So you might be uh, focused on what uh, you actually need to know from this video. So what actually quantum supremacy is? So how does this word come from? So actually, a research paper has been appeared in the NASA website few days back. Uh, by Google AI quantum team uh, stating that Google has achieved quantum supremacy but a um, few minutes later it has been deleted from the Google but even though with the use of internet the paper has been leaked and spread all over the world so what actually Google is getting so quantum supremacy is something that they have achieved quantum computing in a practical way so from many years there has been research going on in the quantum computing area so what actually quantum computing is? It is uh, different from the traditional way of computing. So we all know in traditional computing uh, we deal with bits or only two digits right 0 or 1 or 2 or false. So digits uh, everything works on only those two processes. So it might be a false one it might be a true one. But quantum computing has come up with different variations other than this. So if it comes into the reality many problems uh, which are uh, complicated in the world even the NB hard problems can be solved with quantum computing so you might have wondered how it is possible so in the upcoming videos it will be known for you so what actually uh, Google achieved here so Google has achieved quantum supremacy not in a useful manner actually because they haven't created any useful application but they have proved that quantum computing is possible uh, with the process of random number generator project so what happened it is so given a series of numbers you need to pick a random number and you need to guess what is that random number is so if suppose I have um, 100 numbers so if I ask you to pick one particular number so then I need to guess what is the number you have picked so what happens is I need to uh, make nearly 100 guesses if every everything is wrong right so quantum computing do that in one single attempt so this is how quantum computing will be useful so uh, Google also stated that the work uh, which takes the world's fastest supercomputer uh, to complete in 10,000 years will be completed only by 200 seconds by quantum computers this is the beauty of quantum computing and Google has just now achieved that so in the sense Google has now practical uh, application of quantum computing so if it goes in in such positive way then everything in the world will be in wonder after a few years so achieving quantum computing quantum supremacy is somewhat um, a great thing uh, in this tech industry and everyone should be appreciated with that so in the few days in the upcoming days might be there will be many more uh, research works uh, will start on that and many more applications will come on that so in the next video I am going to explain what actually quantum computing is with an example. So thank you for watching this video.